You know, Jesus lived with his disciples for approximately three years. And if there was one message he hammered into them over and over again, it was this one. It was, the first shall be last, the last shall be first. If anyone wants to be the chief, they need to put themselves at the bottom. Uh, the greatest of all of you is the one who serves. I mean, he kept teaching that lesson over and over again in both word and deed. And then came that Thursday night when they're having Passover. And before he even eats the meal, uh, serves the meal, he takes off his outer garment, strips like a slave, gets down on his hands and knees and washes their feet. And we can't comprehend the humiliation of that. There's nothing we have that compares to that today. If I, if I showed up at your house and I did some, uh, some uh, menial task that you didn't want to do, like if I you know, cleaned out your septic or something, um, you'd be thankful and you'd say, well, that, that Jeff, he's, he's a good guy. See, they didn't look at Jesus and go, what a good guy. He's washing our feet. Oh, what a, what a kind servant leader. No, they said, That's, you're, you're humiliating yourself. Why would you do that? And I don't know that I want to follow somebody who's going to become lowly like that because that makes me look well. This is why Peter said, Lord, you will not wash my feet. Peter wasn't being humble. Peter was being prideful. I can't be the follower of a person who humiliates himself like that. And when Jesus said, if you let me wash your feet or you have no part in me, Peter realized, oh, I guess that's the cost of following Jesus. I do have to give up my pride. And he said, then go ahead and wash me from head to toe. And then he walked to Gethsemane and he waited for the soldiers to come and he was arrested and he was beaten and he was crucified. And all of it was according to scripture and all of it was his design, his will. No one takes my life from me, he says, but I give it of my own accord. Jesus was true to the end, serving in the words of Paul in Philippians, he was God, but he didn't cling to or take advantage of his godhood. Instead, he emptied himself of it, all of his privilege, all of his uh, prerequisites, all of his uh, prerogatives, all, all, everything he deserved. He just gave it up freely and became a servant and died on a cross. And yeah, if we really want to be like Jesus, like we claim to be, a big part of that is coming to him and say, Lord, purge me of all this sinful pride that gets in the way of me acknowledging your grace, that gets me in the way of experiencing your best, that gets in the way of me representing you well.